Canadian fast bowler Rizwan Chima has received an official reprimand for breaching the ICC code of conduct level 1 during his side's defeat against New Zealand at the Wankhede Stadium in Mumbai on Sunday by the on-field umpire Bruce Oxenford for insulting the spirit of the game by bowling above waistline bouncers and more than once being taken off the attack. He would lose out on 50% of the match fee and has accepted the proposed sanction from match referee Roshan Mahanama without questioning. The renovated Eden Gardens will be on view for the first time in the South Africa Ireland match on Tuesday. Tickets are not in demand because India team is missing from the action, but there is much more to look forward to. The Eden Garden pitch would provide the best 22 strip yard in the current edition says its curator. The England management have denied reports that Andrew Stross is to retire from one day cricket after the World Cup, but there is growing sense in the team that it has reached an end of an era. Defeat to the West Indies on Thursday will mostly eliminate England at the World Cup stage and it would not be a surprise if Stross who is 34 years old decides to retire from one day cricket and concentrate on leading the test team into the next Ashes series in 2013. Coach Gary Kirsten who has once again insulated himself from all the heat and left Dhoni to do all the fire fighting that should probably rework the way the Indian team's net functions. Kirsten believes in giving the players the space and he allows every individual to train their own way but the approach suits the test side more than the one day international side which is relatively inexperienced. A day before the Zimbabwe game Omar Akmal twisted his left ankle while playing football before the practice session. He is already down with a finger injury which has virtually ruled him out of the game today. Although Shahid Afridi insisted that Omar's injury was not serious, it is learned from the Pakistan team's management that has advised him rest for the next few days. For once he can't be accused of faking injury so that Kamran whose wicket keeping career is on the line retains his place. <laughs> <laughs>